Okay, now we're going to show you how to use the incubator controls for the software and the reader to maintain a temperature that you'd like to use as a control or to just simply watch and maintain uh, whatever level is in the room for room temperature. So the control icon for the incubator is up here at the top and the readout is here. So if it's grayed out, that means it has not yet been enabled. So to enable it, we just click on the icon and we have two options. We can either input a temperature like this. Let's put in 29 and say incubator on. And now you'll see the incubator temperature in red, which means it's actively changing the temperature until it hits 29. And then it will turn green to let you know that it's ready to be used. So you can see that it ramps up a tenth of a second, sorry, a tenth of a Celsius per second. So it's fairly rapid to increase the temperature up to the point that you're ready for. So once it's reached that temperature, it will turn green. You can see it's within a reasonable amount of time here. Just a few seconds to reach the operating temperature. And it will maintain that 29 degrees Celsius within uh, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 uh, degrees Celsius up and down. If you'd like to simply monitor the temperature inside the laboratory, inside the instrument, then you can click on the temperature monitoring. And the temperature monitoring button will just simply tell you exactly what temperature is inside the reader at the point of whatever, whatever temperature is in the lab. So this is typically 2 to 3 to 4 Celsius higher than ambient room temperature. Um, in this case, it's at 29.4, but that will drop as it cools since we had set that temperature just a second ago. If you would like the temperature off, we just click the off button and then it will automatically turn off and be in the off location. If you'd like to set this as a default on to be monitored, uh, monitored, you can click on use the above setting when you power the system on. So that just simply means if I'd like to have the temperature on and, and have it monitored, I'm going to click on and then close and it will automatically, when I open up the software, have this selected and chosen. So that's the basics for the temperature monitoring incubation software. Pretty easy to use.